All right, guys, so here we are in front of Meshki's Military Machinery. That's alliteration, if I've ever heard any. Um, we're going to go check out some of the stuff they have on display. It looks like they got a couple of tanks, some recoilless rifles, some old school Jeeps, and a couple other little treats out there that you military historians might find and like a lot. Let's go walk through and see what we got on uh, display here. This year at Almond Shooters Roundup, we were able to capture a ton of great moments on film. From cool new guns to all different kinds of gear related to shooting, we saw it all. One thing we were not expecting was this awesome collection of military equipment from Meshki Military Machinery. It was amazing to see everything from tanks and armored personnel carriers to weird and quirky vehicles both old and new. We got to meet with Randy Meshki and ask him a few questions about his collection and get the inside scoop how to acquire these pieces should we ever choose to do so. So with that being said, let's take a closer look at the guns and vehicles from Meshki Military Machinery. So guys, we're here in front of the ZPU-4. It's a Russian 14.5 quad uh, anti-aircraft gun. As you can see, it is uh, quite a substantial piece of equipment. It's very intimidating to be standing right in front of the barrel of this thing, looking down and uh, imagining the type of firepower that can come out of this. It's a really cool looking piece of equipment. That's why we're filming it today. But uh, I mean, seriously, look at that thing. It just looks like it just eats planes alive. I love it. Wow! Edit that out. Oh, we edit these <laughs> yeah, each of those symbols are an offensive image, so I'll probably need to blur those out. What either like, uh, like rainbows or kittens? Yeah. Like they're offensive. I'll, I'll blur them out for you. There you go. Special effects in action. Yeah. Oh, put like little Tyler faces on each one. That's a good idea. <laughs> So yeah, like I said, we're, uh, we're in front of the cool cannon parts. They got all different kinds of vehicles, all different kinds of cannons, machine guns galore. I don't know if they work. Maybe we'll ask and find out. Um, but uh, like I said, just a lot, a ton of really cool equipment. We have the car that doesn't know if it's going backwards or forwards right here. We got the cool little motorcycle that uh, I know Alex wants to ride. Maybe we'll give him a chance on it a little bit later. Uh, tanks, Jeeps, deuces or deuce and a halfs, anti-aircraft guns, quad 14 fives. Uh, if you guys are military historians or buffs or like uh, really unique and cool equipment, I definitely recommend coming on out. Okay guys, this is one of the other cool cannons that we got sitting in front of us. This is the Mike or M1939 anti-aircraft gun, 37 millimeter caliber. Um, you guys can correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe an adaptation of this or the exact gun was used in the P39 series and uh, the P63, or, uh, yeah, P63s. But uh, if you can come over here and get a close up, these are the massive shells it shoots. You can pretty much assume that anything it hits gets to go bye-bye uh, really quickly. That's a big, I mean, that's, you know, that's my hand for scale. The, the bullet is essentially about that. That's from my wrist. That's probably, what, about a pound and a half? Pound and three quarters of lead filled with high explosive back in the day. So that's a killer gun. I'm, I'm going to get out of the shot so you guys can actually appreciate it. Look at the size of the whole whole rig and everything. Hey guys, isn't this about the coolest damn thing you've ever seen? We're inside the APC here at Shooter's Roundup having a good time. Tundra Tactics are coming to you live, but actually recorded. Got the M60 next to me, the 50 up front. Um, I'm kind of in heaven right now. This is, uh, this is pretty darn cool. Maybe let's go take a peek inside, huh? Come on in. Hey guys, welcome to the inside of the XM734. Uh, we were just talking to the owner of this, uh, Mr. Uh, Meshki. I can never say the name right. I'm sorry about butchering that if I screwed it up. But uh, he was telling us that 10 guys with M14s were packed in here like sardines. You had two guys up on the 60s on top of that, and then you had one guy running the 50 up right behind me here, a big steel hog. Um, as you can see, like I said, it's probably a little cramped in here. But, I mean, this is about as cool as it gets for us here on Tundra Tactical, sitting inside doing a quick little show inside of an APC. What do you think of that, guys? All right, guys, so we're here with Randy Meshke. Um, Randy, he, uh, he's the gentleman who owns all this crazy cool stuff back here that we were just talking about. Um, we wanted to pull you aside, Randy, and uh, talk to you a little bit, just ask you a few questions. The big one that pops into my head right here is what sparked the interest? Like, what got you into all this cool gear? Well, actually, it's my dad and not mine. Okay. My dad's in on it too, and my son owns a couple of them too. Okay. So, and, and dad was in the military, and he bought a Jeep years ago, and once he bought that Jeep, we kept worked on it and fixed it all up, and it just kind of like, then I found the fire department was surplusing out a, a, a grass rig, which is an M37. 
And so I bought that, and then we fix that up. And then it's just like you get the green fever, and it just, it just keeps going. Okay, so we just took a kind of an introductory video in the back of the APC here. Uh, this LVT is actually an LVT, yeah. Yeah, LVT. And um, like, how, how do you acquire something? First actually, of all, where do you find it? Actually, it's, it's thanks to the internet. I mean, nowadays, and that's where we find pretty much everything. There's a few word of mouth, but most of it's all internet. Okay, I suppose it makes it a lot easier. Craigslist, eBay, uh, I mean, a lot of it's come off eBay. Craigslist is the big one right sure. now. Sure. Where, like, whereabouts did you pick that guy this, up? This one came off eBay, and this came out of South Dakota. Okay. And uh, we got two of them in South Dakota huh. in the middle, way down by Nebraska. Excellent, yeah, excellent. Yeah. The cool thing here is the diversity of the equipment. All the different types of stuff. I mean, you got the big cannons, you got the anti-aircraft guns, you got everything from, like, the cool retro Jeeps, uh, the sidecar here. I mean, this thing... Probably my favorite that you have right here. Russian Deppner. Just. It started out in World War II and it kind of goes all the way up into uh, current. Here awesome. The uh, Humvees probably our newest per purchase. And okay. it goes all the way back into the late 30s. Well, Randy, thank you very much yeah. for your time, my friend. Thank you. Check us out in Tundra Tactical. Get to uh, see some more of uh, Randy's stuff out here, guys. Thank you. Thank you. So that wraps up all of this year's coverage from Almond Shooters Roundup featuring Meshki Military Machinery. Once again, it was an amazing experience to be invited down to cover the event, and we had a blast filming all of the awesome products and equipment that were on display. We'd like to say a special thanks to Randy Meshke for letting us play with all the cool vehicles and guns he brought to the show, and once again, thank you to Mike Allman for inviting us down. Thanks for watching. If you guys dislike this video, then you know what to do. But if you like the video, make sure to smash that thumbs up button and share it around with your friends. Consider subscribing to the channel to stay up to date on current and future content, and as always, visit www.tundratactical.com for more entertainment.